Welcome to Sheena Power Talk Youth Link, where our redeemed, revived, and transformed guest gets real and empowering the youth. I'm your host, Sheena Lynn Hansen, and I'm so happy to be here with you today, sharing with you on season two. Today, I have with me a very special guest from New York, Brooklyn, and she is Minister Angela Gadir. She has a powerful story that she is going to share on today. Open your hearts and your mind to receive what God is saying, even if you are going through a situation let me tell you your soul will be edified god will be glorified and the devil in hell will be terrified and horrified we'll be right back she na power talk and we are rise and take over territory we are break some curses lyrically we are shake some kingdom literally now show satan no sympathy young people make we grow spiritually stop war with the neighbor physically draw for the holy bible daily humble i got feet like baby tired for the family in a cemetery youth them need guidance mentally stop abuse young girls sexually we need yeshua in the industry satan a try rally you your destiny young girl keep your identity Welcome, woman of God, to Sheena Power Talk. I'm so Thank happy you. to have you here. Thank you. Number one, you look very beautiful. Thank it's a you. pleasure to finally meet you. I want you to look into the camera and tell us five significant things about yourself. I am a mother. I am a grandmother. I am a kingdom builder. I am an intercessor. And I am a woman of God. Glory to God. And as she said, she's an intercessor. We all know we should pray without season and prior changes things. I'm happy to hear that you're an intercessor woman of God. Yes. I believe that the Bible is the foundation of truth. I want to know your favorite scripture and what it means to you. Philippians 4 verse 13. And I take that very personal. I, Angela Gadir, can do all things through Christ who strengthen me. Glory to God, all things, all, all things. things. And when you say all things, it relates to you because you have gone, gone through some things where yes. you saw that. Glory to God. Just share a little bit of why you choose that scripture. That scripture strengthened me when I was going through. I needed God's strength and only his strength could have bring me through what I went through. Glory to God. I know that you have a powerful story and I'm just as excited to hear uh, the depths of it um, just the same. So I would like for you to tell me what, what happened. How did it come about and how did you pull through? Okay. Um, I had started a new job um, in 2016. And no, sorry, 2006. Yes. I started a new job. Two weeks into the job, I went to work one morning and I started feeling dizzy. And I passed out on the job and my boss sent me home. I went home, I went straight to the hospital. And while they, while they were running tests, I keep passing out. They did CAT scan and the doctor said he sees something on my brains. They did MRI and they said, I have a tumor. I had to be doing MRI every year to see what this tumor was doing. In 2018, I was diagnosed with another tumor. Then um, the doctor realized that this, after doing, keep doing MRI, the doctor realized that this tumor was growing. In 2019, but all this time, I keep telling God, I don't want to do no surgery. Yeah. Because I remember one specialist told me that once you touch the brains, things will never be the same. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling God that I don't want to do no surgery. Yeah. But who am I to tell God what I want and what I don't want when Jeremiah 29 verse 11 tell me that God knows the plan that he have for me. But I keep holding on to what that specialist tell me, mm -hmm. that once they touch the brains, things would never be the same. Yes. So I'm telling God, no surgery, no surgery, no surgery. Until 2019, when my doctor tell me, we have to do surgery. Mm. When the doctor tell me that, I start crying. Yeah. I was walking on the street like a mad woman, just crying, just crying, just crying. I was so upset with God. Yeah. 
to the point where I got home and I didn't even pray before I went to bed. Uh -huh. Because I am telling God what I want. Mm -hmm. But all this time, God had a plan. Mm -hmm. God had a plan. Yeah. So I did a brain surgery in 2019. But before I did the surgery, when the doctor told me that I have to do surgery, and I was preparing myself for surgery, huh, you know that Satan talk, right? Yes. Satan tell me that I am going to die. Mm -hmm. I believe Satan that I was going to die. Mm -hmm. I start making funeral arrangements for myself. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even let my siblings know that I was making funeral arrangements. I said nothing to no one mm -hmm. because I should know better. Yeah. But I, I wrote everything down. Um, oh, I want my funeral to go. Yeah. During the process of doing that, I remember my mom. My mom died from breast cancer. And when she was on her dying bed, she sent called the pastor at the church. And they wrote out everything. They write down everything. My mom planned her funeral. Mm -hmm. So during the process of doing that, I remember my mom doing that. Yeah. But I went to bed one night and I'm saying to God, I know I'm coming home to you. So if there's anything in me that is not of you, cleanse me, wash me with your isop, God, because I need to see your face. Yes. But I'm there laying down and I'm talking to God. And the Lord said to me, where is your faith? Yes. I'm in church. I am supposed to be a woman of God. Yeah. Where is your faith? I got up like a mad woman that night and I went in my closet and I tear up all those papers and I said, Satan, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is against you. How dare you come telling me I am going to die when you come to kill, steal and destroy. But the God that I serve, yes. come so that I can have life and have life in abundance. Yes. I said, the blood of Jesus is against you. And I tear up all those papers and I start serving God. I start praising God. I start giving God the glory because I know I am going to live through that surgery. Yes. I did the surgery and thank God it was successful. Yes. <laughs> One month after I did the surgery, I lost my speech. Mm. I was unable to talk for one year and one month. Mm. When I tell you, When I tell you, it was painful. Yeah. It was very painful, very painful. One year and one month, it was so painful not being able to talk. But God, yes. God had a plan. Yes. I remember, I remember three o'clock one morning, I got up out of my bed mm -hmm. and I went on the floor to prostrate before God. And I said, God, if you are hearing my prayer, show me a sign. Yes. Because everybody that I know was hearing from God, I text them to pray for me. Yes. And nothing is happening. Yes. I'm praying, I'm begging people to pray for me and nothing is happening. So I said, God, I don't know if something is hindering my prayer from coming up to you. I need a sign. Yes. I said, show me a sign. I said, God, if you show me a sign that you're hearing my prayer, I will meekly wait and murmur not. Yes. Mm. I was like Anna. Yes. On my knees, crying. Mm. But God see every word in these tears. Mm -hmm. I was praying, I was praying, I was praying. Mm. It was one o'clock in the day. Yeah. There was a big light in my ceiling with a dove in the light. Ooh. And for one month straight, that light would come every single day in different images. Yes. And God allowed me to take pictures of all those lights because he know I would need it for my testimony to shut up the doubtful Thomas. Mm -hmm. But God, yes. 
but God. I make a promise to God that if he give me my speech back, I will share my testimony with the world. I'm here in Jamaica two weeks now and I've been going from churches to churches, sharing my testimony with the world. Yeah. Telling somebody that they are next in line for their blessing. Yeah. Telling somebody that's going through something, do not give up. Yes, glory to God. I love the story of the woman with the issue of blood. Yes. She could have sit in her house and saying, Jesus is passing by, so I will get my healing. But she didn't do that. Yes. She got up and she pushed her way through. Yes. And I know that woman didn't care who she was pushing down. Yes. She need to get her deliverance. Yes. So she got up and she pushed her way through yes. just to touch the hem of his garment because the fear that she had believed that if she just touch just one touch yes. you see a lot of times we don't understand that one touch from God make a difference in our life. Yes. Just one touch from God can change our life 360 degree. Yes. One touch from God make a difference in our life. Right. Glory to God. So, my God, you went through all that. You lose your speech. And I can just imagine what you was facing, what you was going through. But upon regaining back your speech, to even ask God, saying, God, if you're giving back the speech, I'll testify. How did that process go? What a, who I want to envision myself in that situation. When you just said, God, please give me back my, back my voice. It was a daily, it was a daily, hourly, minutely prayer. Yes. I need my speech back. Yes, it's not. And I even want, sometimes some people pray one time. And oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's all I wanted. Yes. My speech back. Yes. I didn't even want to go to church. Yeah. Because I know people are gonna come up to me trying to talk, and all I could do is. Yes. But even though I could not talk when I go to church, I was still praising. I was still worshiping God. I was dancing. I was giving God the glory even though I couldn't talk. Yes. Because I believed that God was going to come through yes. for me. Yes. So I was still giving him the glory. Yes. Still giving him all the praise. Because yes. I believe that faith. Yes. That faith. I stand on that faith. And I'm here to tell somebody today that it doesn't matter what you're going through. Hold on to that mustard seed faith. Hold on to it. Because the God that we serve, he never fail. Mighty God, woman of God, you ask and you pray for God to open your speech. On that very day when God opened your speech, what was your reaction? Oh, I'm telling you something. Every day that those light would come, I would worship them. Yes. I would worship them. Yes. I worship those light because I know God was showing me a sign saying, yes, I'm hearing your prayer, but your time is not my time. Mm. I reflect on Lazarus, the story of Lazarus. Yes. Right. And I can just imagine Mary and Martha, they're talking to each other and saying, and when him done, he say, man, Jesus, a friend. And him sin, call him friend, and him friend no come. And say, the man dead. I'm buried. Yeah. Four days. But guess what? It wasn't his time. Yes. God had to come. God had to allow all of that to happen. Yes. To say, yes, I am God. Glory. And when he come four days and roll away that stone and call Lazarus by name. Glory. Lazarus come out. Yes. 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 So it wasn't yes. his time. Yes. And when it's your time, yes. ain't nothing can stop that. Come and on. no one can stop that. Come on, no one God. Mighty God. But let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when God always have a plan. Yes. It was my birthday. Yes. But you see when your breakthrough come to. Come on. See it I know when your breakthrough come, you know. Mm -hmm. And Satan will try everything, put everything in your way just for you not to get your breakthrough. Mm -hmm. That morning when I got up, it was my birthday. And I said, I'm going to church for my birthday blessing. I said, God, let something in that sermon be for me. Mm -hmm. My head was hurting me so, so, so bad. Mm -hmm. So, so, so bad. Yes. I got my show and I went back into the bed. Yes. And something just said to me, 
get up and go to church. I got up and I get dressed. And even when I called the cab, I was still undecided because the headache was so severe. And let me tell you something. When I reached church door, no headache. Mm -hmm. You hear what I said? Yes. The headache was gone. And I went into church and I was just praising God. I was just praising God. I was just praising God, giving God the glory. Yes. After the sermon, yes. after the sermon, I am a member of Little Jerusalem, House of Prayer. My bishop is Sybil Mattison. Yes. And after the prayer, I went up to the altar. Cute, you know? Yes. For birthday prayer. Yes. Birthday prayer. Oh my. Because I'm saying I'm going for birthday prayer. Come on now. My birthday blessing. Yes. But God had a plan. My God, come on. I was standing by the altar and my pastor, Pastor Jeffrey Mears, he read my lips saying birthday. Yes. And he said, oh, it's Sister Angela's birthday. And by the time my bishop stretched forth our hand to say in the name of Jesus, the best way I can describe it to you, I feel like electricity was going through my body from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I could not contain myself. My body was just going like a leaf on a tree when a heavy wind blew. Mighty God. Mm. I fell on the ground. Miracle. And when I fell on the ground, I hear the Lord said, speak. Speak. And I said, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's when I realized I could talk. I couldn't even cry at the same time. Yeah. I was just running up and down over the church giving God praises. Giving God praise. What better birthday gift could I ask for? Yes, you got intentional, like right on your birthday. On my birthday. You got your voice back. On my birthday. With much prayer. God gave you a miracle. I'm telling you, God always have a plan. Yes. Always have a plan. So, so, so you know, you're, 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 you're talking, glory to God. You go home. What was your experience at least the first night when you went to home? Let me tell you, when it happened, a lot of people didn't even understand what happened. People okay, was just I'm crying. Sure. People was just crying. Right. A lot of people didn't understand what was going on. Mm -hmm. But I felt it. Yes. And I hear it. Mm -hmm. Because when I fell to the ground, two church sisters came there and bent down with me. And when I hear the voice say, speak, speak, I look round, mouth shut. I look round, mouth shut. It was God. Hallelujah. It was God. So if you look in today, if you're watching today and you don't believe that God talk, I'm telling you, he talk. Maybe you need to shut up and listen. Listen for the voice of God. Oh, what a beautiful vision. He said, speak. Testament. Speak. Mm -hmm. And I said, glory to God. Glory to oh. God. Glory to God. And that's when I realized that I could talk. Yes. Glory to God. And from that, we thank God for the miracle that he's done in your life. Give, give me hope today. Yes. And from that, now you, you're being talking and you're being testified. Oh, yes. Yes. So tell yes. me a bit about, do you not just testify and what you're doing now? Okay. I made a promise to God that if he give me my speech back, I will share my testimony with the world. Yes. Not just in New York. Yes. Not just in America, yes. but the world. Yes. It's already in 21 different countries. Oh, glory to God. Three weeks ago, my doctor gave me the okay to travel. Yes. He said, just make sure okay. I stop my ears. Ooh. This is the first ticket I bought. Yes. Because I said, I have to come back to foundation. Yes. I went to my own church. A lot of people didn't even know. Some of them knew that I was sick. They hear that I was sick. But yes. nobody know the depths of what I went through. Yes. So I had to go back to foundation. Yes. To share what God has done for me. To give some people is. hope. My God. How has that been for you? I'm tired. 
I'm tired. But it's a blessing. It is a blessing when I know that I can give people hope that God will come through for you. It doesn't matter what you're going through. God will come through for you. Don't give up. Do not give up. Don't let go. God will come through for you. Amen. So, woman of God, you know you're in Jamaica, you had foundation, you're sharing it. Yes. It's a beautiful testimony. It is. I'm telling you. But now I see you have a lotion right here. I have a yes. Smell, I, have a, I had a smell of it before you came on set. And it literally smelled like bubble gum. Like, yes. oh, oh, what inspired you to do this? You know, I'm, I'm not working at the moment. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting down in the house and I said, God, show me what I can do. Yeah. And I don't know. I just start making lotion. I just start making candles. I start writing my book. My book should be coming out um, this summer. God gave me my speech back. Whoa. That's supposed to be an awesome book. Yes. This yes. But pronounce the name for me so I can get it. It's Rafa Jella. Rafa, Rafa me, Jella. Rafa, Jehovah Rafa. Yes. The Lord that healed me. Ooh. So Rafa Jella, what, so it's Rafa Jella. Jella is Angela, part of Angela. Uh, yes. So it's Rafa and Jella. It smells so good, guys. No joke. And she said this one is my when I'm excited yes. about it. Rafa Jella, body lotion. No woman of God, persons are going to hear a testimony. And just before you even tell anybody where to find you, there are some people looking at you right now and saying, listen to me. I need to know where this woman's strength comes. Oh, she find the strength to even go back. But even with that mirror, like that the more you get a poor today do not give up do not give up listen to my story and if God did that for me I know I can guarantee you that he will do it for you because guess what he don't prefer me more than you yes. he love us all the same and what he do for me he can do for you so do not give up hold on keep praying don't believe that God doesn't hear your prayer. Yes, he hear your prayer, but your time is not my time. And our time is not God's time. So just hold on. Have that patience and hold on to faith. Never let go of that faith. Because God will come through for you. And good God, and you're right in your book called... Yes, God gave me my speech back. No, woman of God... It's, it's an awesome miracle to see that God's still reign and I lost love or God will use person to show people in this earth that miracles are still happening. Yes. Uh, but with much prayer, with much seeking him, with being in the will of God. I know you are writing a book to tell people the depths of the story. Yes. In deep, and I know even more so that persons are being edified right now and feel like they can't hold that. Because probably have somebody who have maybe lost your speech or lost your hearing or lost your sight. I am believing God for a miracle. Here is Angela that dare yes. sharing her story that she lost her speech, but God gave her back oh her God. speech. What a miracle. Yes. Now she's writing a book and she's doing candles and lotions. Lotions, yes. And, and, and woman of God, tell us a little bit about the candle business and your lotion business because I know that persons are going to want to know more about it. Okay, my lotion, um, the ingredients, some of the ingredients is on the back of it. Um, organic coconut oil, vitamin E oil, A and D oil, glycerin oil, collagen oil, almond oil, lavender oil, raw shea butter. And it's made with love. It's made from these two hands from scratch with love. Glory to God, and it and smells very, very good. This one actually smells like bubble gum. Love, 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 love it. Woman of God, today, I want you to say a quick prayer for persons that are watching you, but I really want to thank you to share such an amazing yes. testimony. I've come from so far, and you have accepted my invitation. Yes. I thank you so 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 much god gave her her speech back i want you to just look in the camera and say a word a quick word of prayer for a few saints that watching let us pray Mighty God, I come before you today giving you thanks and praise for this another day. It's a day, oh God, that you have wake us up in our right mind. We know, Father God, that that clock that we set last night, if it had not been for your grace and your mercy, Jesus, we would not be here today. So we give you honor, glory, and praise. We worship you, Lord, because of who you are. We magnify your matchless name, Jesus, because you are king above all king and Lord above all Lord. 
Lord. You are the great I am. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, from everlasting to everlasting. You are God. Almighty God, as I put this person before you today, this person that is watching me today, mighty God, I ask your Lord that you will give them hope to know their God, that their situation is nothing that you can handle. Give them faith, mighty God, to know their God, that you are the God of the impossible and there is nothing impossible for you to do. Oh God, as I call upon your name today, mighty God, give them strength, oh God. Help them, oh God, to turn their life to you, oh God. Help them, oh God, to have hope, have faith, and believe that you are the true and living God. I give you praises, Jesus. I magnify your matchless name, oh God. Oh God, we praise you today. We shall back your name today, Jesus. Have mercy upon us, oh God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. Amen. Woman of God, where can they find you? Oh, you can find me at rafajella at gmail.com. Glory to God. Oh my God, I thank you so much for Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, it's such a it was such a pleasure to sit here and share, you know, with Minister Angela Gadir. Gadir. Uh, Gadir. <laughs> I want to get it properly. God gave her back her speech. Yes. And I believe that he is going to do a miracle for you too with much prayer. God bless you and thank you so much for watching Sheena Power Talk. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a blessing. She na power talk. Hey, Power Gang, remember to get your book on Amazon today, today, today. No other day but today. You can get it in Kindle form and you can get it in paperback form. And if you are in Jamaica and you want a copy of this amazing book, The Crown and the Cross, listen to me. Call me at 1 876 429 6004. Listen, Power Gang, you must have one of these books. Come on now, Crown and the Cross. Hey beauties and cuties, thank you so much for being a part of Sheena Power Talk in Youth Link. I trust that your soul is edified, Satan is terrified, and God is glorified. If you want to be a part of this amazing move, this divine move, you can always call me or contact me on any social media handles. Don't keep that story to yourself. Let it out. Let yourself be free and free somebody else. Share your story today on Sheena Power Gang. Listen to me, Power Team. Power Gang, we are cause an eruption in the earth. We are called for revival and God has set the nigga and broke out in our life. In Jesus name let it be well. God bless you and please remember if you do want to sow, if you do want to help this ministry monetary, you can always contact me. You can always get me through cash up or other different means like Western Union MoneyGram, anything and any way you want to sow and make an offering to what God is doing i would really appreciate it there are things that we need as we develop and we trust that you will be generous to us as the lord will lead you thank you so much for making it sheena power gang you don't know how big things are going to sheena power gang and power gang gonna lead god bless you god keep you